Hey guys, this is a little video about um, a problem I've had with my Traxxas UDR um, rear diff. And this is kind of just a video on trying to help other people that may have had the same problems I had. I took this thing out in the dunes and I was jumping it and uh, it came down and landed kind of funny and I started hearing a weird noise out of the back end and within short order, the only thing I had was front wheel drive. So I came home and disassembled the truck, tore the rear end out of the truck. This is what it kind of looks like when it's all boned out. And what I discovered was, is that um, a bearing had seized. But uh, we'll discuss that further here in just a moment. Okay guys, so we got the rear differential and housing taken apart and cleaned up from the Traxxas UDR. And what I've discovered was, once you get it all cleaned up, these are the two halves of the housing. What happened was, is that this bearing that is for the pinion gear basically seized up, causing the bearing and the, the whole planetary setup, this thing was spinning inside the bearing housing and it wallowed it out. You can see this is that little channel where the where the bearing rides in right there. It's supposed it's not supposed to rotate. It's just supposed to settle down in that little saddle. But as you can see, it chewed through the plastic. And it did so on the other side even much worse. And what it did is it caused the pinion and the ring gear to come out of mesh. As you can see, they're not even touching. However, when the truck wasn't under any kind of a load, this thing could kind of flop back. It would kind of slide down a little bit, like so, and then it would come in mesh. So you could hold the car up in the air, hit the throttle, and you'd get four-wheel drive you put it down on the ground where there's a load, you hit the throttle, and this thing would go boom, and it would go up in there, creating the gap between the teeth and no more mesh. So what I had to do, I had to order up a new assembly of the ring and pinion gear, all the associated bearings, especially this one, the one that seized. I also ordered up this little input bearing here and also the bearings on both sides of the cases including the case I had to order another case now this case is real cheap it's like eight bucks online um, I went ahead and ordered the upgraded Vitavon differential um, we're gonna see how that goes I also ordered up just a plain plastic one as a backup or whatever and um, I went ahead and took apart the planetaries, I cleaned them really well, and then I greased them with a, a combination of uh, Amsoil and Molly, some Molly powder. I'll do a little experimentation on that, see how that works out. But um, as you can see, these teeth are a little, little banged up. I mean, not the greatest. And then the ring gear. Not terrible, but you know, since this had its problem, we're gonna go ahead and replace it all. Um, again, 16 bucks for the ring and pinion, eight bucks for the housing if you wanna go with the stock or the Vitavon is uh, like $66, I think it was, I paid for that. And when it comes, I'll put it all back together and show you guys how that works. Okay, so if anybody else has a failure of the Traxxas UDR 
rear end. Check it out. It may be this bearing. It may have eaten into this housing like it did mine. As you can see right there, that's really chewed in there bad. And that little bearing saddle there. Anyway, hope this helped, guys. Have a good one.